In this video, I will show you how to correct out of focus areas, color grade, sharpen, slim body and belly using Luminar Neo AI tools. I also want to let you know that I am leaving in the description below the links in where you can find this photograph and the flare I used if you want to practice. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the point. All right, here's the photograph I will be retouching and enhancing today. First uh, things first, I will go to develop raw tools here, sorry, develop raw and select the profile. I will use in this case a portrait profile. Yeah, I like it and the color white balance i will use let me try cloudy i think it's okay there mm, yes i will leave it there touch of tint okay good now the next step is to crop this photograph i will go to the crop section click the composition ai to see what Luminar Neo suggest I think it's okay, but I will move it here to the center. I will apply the crop. Yes. Okay, good. Now, next step is to sharpen this photograph. I will give a shot to Super Sharp AI. Uh, this tool uses a lot of resources of my PC, but I think it's worth the time uh, for me waiting two minutes to, for it to work. Uh, so for the sake of the video, I will click it and then pause, cut it and come back to see what happens in this super sharp AI tool. So I will do that and we'll select the face enhancer and click on low. Here we go, guys. Okay. Here's the result. Don't you think it's really cool? Look, it's not only adding, I mean, um, adding some of the artificial intelligence to sharpen, which most of the time is to add some kind of noise and, you know, and artifacts to enhance the sharpness. But in this case, this artificial intelligence is kind of rebuilding stuff. Look, the eyes look a little bit weird to me. Look, you see, I kind of redid the face entirely. Wow. Hmm, so the distance far. Look interesting. I will leave it like that. But if you want to, I mean, not to use the eyes this way, what I will do might be to use the masking tool and erase, right? Uh, from the eyes only a little bit, not that much, just to keep some of the original. You see? Uh, part of her eyes but they will not be as sharp as they were but there's a workaround for that and I will do it right now I will click on the details tool right and over here I will apply some medium details let me move it yeah, I'm looking at the eyes right now guys and some of the sharpening okay very large over here. Okay, yes. And some of the sharpening. And then I will switch to mask in, select the brush, and with a strength of 100%, I will paint the effect only on her eyes, just to match the current. Yes. Good. Now we're talking. Nice. Okay, good. So with that done, now I will do the regular face AI stuff I would typically do, right? Uh, I will not add any face light. I think light is fine, but I will use the eye enhancer. Maybe we'll add around 50. I will do dark circle removals or dark circles removal, right? And improve the eyebrows get it closer yes I think it's okay there now done with that face AI done 
I don't think I need to do anything with the skin. Skin is perfect. All right, so no need to do any skin retouching, but I will slim her body. How? I will use the body AI tool and the shape section, right? I will do, let me try 60. Okay. 61. Mm -hmm. And now the belly, I will do 100%. Good. Look. From here to here. Looks natural. Way to go, Luminarina. This is nice. Okay, so I will keep this adjustment the way it is, right? Now the rest is just uh, to fine tune some areas of this photograph. For example, um, I will do the regular enhance AI. We'll do the amount, not too much, maybe around there. I think it's okay. Uh, another thing I will try to do here is to reduce the brightness in this area. It looks kind of bright to me. So I would do develop, mask in, linear gradient, and I will do this here, there. Yes. Now we reduce the exposure. Right here, the light. There you go. I will also add the mask here. Let me see what happens. That's the touch. Yes. That centers the tension on hair. All right. One another thing I want to darken it a little bit more so we'll use the relight but I don't want to relight I want to the brightness far I mean what is behind her to get a little bit darker maybe more not too much and there is okay and the depth See how she's popping out. If you think it's too much, just reduce it a little bit. All right. Okay. Now I will add a layer in a flare to this area. And I will use one of my flares that you can download from my website for free. I will use the one in the middle. I will apply this one here. Good. I will increase the opacity to 100 and then I will uh, colorize it to uh, magenta tone. Yes, look at that. Look at this portrait from this to this. Way more interesting, right? Um, if you find it too bright, you can go to the develop tool and use uh, exposure, reduced exposure, attach. It's your liking, guys. I like it the way it is. And I think we have an interesting portrait here that we can use, you know, the adjustments I just did in any portrait, like, you know, with this type of, of, of photograph, which has very good background, I um, mean, bokeh and some other details that um, invite you to uh, do this type of retouching. Uh, so guys again thank you very much for watching the video if you like this type of content please consider subscribing to the channel uh, hit the like button also the bell so you can get a notification every time i upload new content guys until next straight to the point tutorials god bless you all bye bye